So question number 12, we will take one more question. So the question is, suppose uh, there is a cylindrical, uh, cylindrical section <coughs> like this. This is a conductor. <coughs> the radius of this is uh, 2R. So, a steady current is flowing through this cylindrical section. You can see that is uh, that is variable diameter. The first row cylinder is uh, this is a one conductor. Uh, this part A, a to B the diameter is uh, the, the, the radius is two R and here the radius is R. So this uh, radius is smaller than the previous one. Almost this is double that one. The length is same and they are of uh, same material. So they are made up of same material. The row is same. Now, you have to state which of the following is uh, correct. The options are The, this is a MCQ type of question. You have to choose which one uh, or more than one options are correct. Maybe more, more than one option correct type. So, there is a constant current that is going through this of two variable cross sections. The length is same, radius is double. We have to check each and every options. Let us take first option that the potential difference between the two ends of this conductor and the potential difference between these two ends of the conductor BC is that this voltage across this is double this that you have to check this first. How to find the potential difference across this? According to Ohm's law, the potential difference we are checking A, the potential difference across the two ends equals to currents going through this into the resistance R and B. Similarly, I can find the potential difference across this, all right. I will divide this two in fact to get the relation between them. BVC is I RBC. I is same in both the cases because the current that is going here is also I, here is I. So that cancels out. RAB for a conductor, RAB is rho L by A. So the rho is same because uh, the same material. Rho L, L means the length of this part, LAB. That is L by 2, that is same by a a is a pi r square that is pi of the square of this is 4 pi r square okay rho l by a so this is division similarly for this rho l by a but here the area is pi r square only divided by pi r square so this cancels out everything and it is 1 by 4 that means dab is V B C divided by 4. That means V B C is 4 times this. Now this option is wrong. So from here you can see this option is wrong. Now let us take another option B. Power in these two cases. Power is in A B divided by power in B C. Power is I square R because I is constant in both cases. So I will use that formula I square R. I is same that will cancel out R A B by R C that we already converted 1 by 4. So from here we can write B B C is 4 times B A B. 
that means PVC is 4 times P, which is a relation scale. Let us check the other one, C. The C says that the current density are same. What is the current density over the FPV? Current density is the current flowing per area. So current is I. So current density over AV divide current density over BC. Current density is uh, I by A, I same. So reciprocal of, so that is I will cancel by A area of uh, this part is uh, 4 pi r square. Divided by 4, this is I of pi r square. That also comes out to 1 by 4. That is not correct. Similarly, electric uh, that I will do here, the D part, electric field. Electric field is uh, D by L, potential gradient. The length is same, so it depends directly on the V. And V ratios are 1 by 4, so electric field ratio is also 1 by 4. So this relation is also not correct. So this is the correct answer. Okay, thank you.